Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to either enable or disable SMB version 2 or V2 in Windows 10 or Windows 11. So SMB stands for Server Message Block, and basically it's just a network file sharing protocol that allows you to share different data between different devices. So there's SMB version 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to show you guys how to enable version 2 in today's tutorial here. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is actually determine if our system is able to install or enable SMB2. So in order to do that, we're going to open up the search menu and type in PowerShell. Best result, should come back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And now I will have a few commands in the description of the video. So the first one's going to be just to determine if we can actually run SMB2. So like I said, highlight over it, right click and copy it from the description of my video. And then go up to the top bar of this Windows PowerShell window here. Right click on it, select edit and then select paste to paste it in. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. So if it says true, that means that your computer is able to install SMB2. If it says false, it cannot. So just you don't have to proceed any further if it's not um, going to say true here. So assuming it says true, then we're good to go. So in order to enable it, copy the second command from the description of the video. It ends with dollar sign true. So go ahead and copy that. Again, same procedure as the first command we pasted in by right clicking on the top bar of the PowerShell window. Select edit and then select paste to paste it in. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Now you want to go tap the Y key, so just the letter Y, hit enter on your keyboard, and that will enable it. So if down the road you wanted to disable it, I will have a third command in the description of the video. Again, this is to turn it off, so just so we kind of go from start to finish here. And then if you wanted to undo it, we can we can turn it off as well. So it's the same command as the first one, except it has dollar sign false at the end instead of dollar sign true. So copy that and then paste it into the PowerShell window here as well. Hit enter. And then you just would tap Y on your keyboard and hit enter again. And now we've just turned it off. So first command tells you if you can run it or not. Second command enables it. And the third command in the description of the video would turn it off or disable it. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.